notice back in the Florida days if if Jake had already begun his uh, partying ways or not? I, th I think at that time in Florida, everybody was starting to dabble. I mean, it was all over the place. I mean, it was the town was hot. I mean, we had a lot of strange people coming out of the matches with gifts. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't think the guitar set Jake off. And what was the party scene like? Is it as bad as like Scarface and some of these movies portray in well, Florida? Well, uh, without giving the guy's name, and the guy's the businessman, I don't know who I'm talking about. They got fired 37 cops one time, okay? And we had a big show, and the junkyard dog had come in, Jake was there, I was there, and this was, I had. I was, Dusty was out of town, and I, when Dusty was out of town, I would give the finishes, and so the cops came to me and said, uh, we see all these wrestlers who was in the Miami Beach Convention Center, and back where our dressing room was, down the hall was this long bathroom where it had a metal ledge over the sinks, you know, those old yeah. men. And the cop says, we've seen a bunch of wrestlers going down that bathroom with that guy. I said, I don't know anything about it. They said, let's take a walk. And as we're taking the walk, they said, you're trying to tell us you don't know what's going on here? I said, no, I have no idea. They said, well, do you want us to go start going through bags? I said, uh-oh. I said, I don't think that's... Uh, Legal, I mean, how are you going to do that? So they said, let's go in the room. We go in the bathroom, and there's a line like this on the thing. And the cop says, who do you think that is? I said, I have no idea. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Oh, we're going to go search bags. Who do you think it is? And I'm saying to myself, so hopefully no one has anything in the bag, and if they do, I don't think they can search it. I'll play hard ass. I said, I have no idea. Cop reached in, opened up his shirt, pulled out a straw and went, good rip, huh? I said, yeah, you got me. I mean, and then it was 37 fight because one of the guy's uh, girlfriends posed for Penthouse and in the article says the best time I ever had in my life was on Miami Beach in my uh, boyfriend's patrol car with the lights and sirens going high on coke screwing in the back seat. So yeah, it was like Scarface back then. Miami was built on drug money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you've seen the uh, documentaries, uh, Cocaine Cowboy, that's how it was. I mean, it was, I mean, remember that Time Magazine came out and said it was actually good for you. Right. I mean. It, Doctors, lawyers, judges, everybody was doing it. It was like, back of my head, I was saying, you know, anything that makes you this euphoric can't be good for you. And it, it, some guys got into it, and not everybody got into it. But I think most of the guys had dabbled a little. Yeah, because it was a common it was, thing. It right? was, yeah, it was not common like it became later on. Because, first of all, at that time, the price was ridiculous, you know. And you weren't going to go out and spend, if you're making $700, you're not going to go out and spend with, that's before expenses, you're not going to go out and spend $250 for a thing that's going to last you and somebody else, uh, you know, a night. I, I don't think so, anyway. 